These are the images of telephonic communication. And these are the images of art. These artists are communicating with us in their own unique way. Here are works that are stimulating. Beautiful. Provocative. Disturbing. Engaging. They did not arrive from a vacuum in the 20th century but rather they are the extension of a long continuum of Western art and a long tradition of patronage. The church was active in fostering the arts. Patronage was continued by royalty. In the last century, industrialists in this country became active in collecting and commissioning artworks. Museums then became a major force in collecting art. Even government has played a role. Recently, American corporations have joined in encouraging artists. Against this background, General Telephone is taking the move to Thousand Oaks as an opportunity to decorate its new building in a tasteful way and, at the same time, support emerging California artists. As all of you know, our company is in the field of communication. The artist in his or her own style and medium is also in the field of communication. Given these similarities of purpose and our responsibility as corporate citizens, we feel it's very appropriate and fitting that we continue to support the cause of the arts in our communities. We hope that everyone who visits these offices, including our employees, will enjoy this art collection. Hi, I'm Jackie Massey. I work in network engineering as a transmission and protection engineer. However, I also volunteer at the California Museum of Afro-American Art in Los Angeles. I am very pleased to see that General Telephone has taken an interest to stimulate its employees in the wide world of art. I am very pleased to be a part of that, and I know our employees will enjoy it as much as I have in the past. We not only provide quality communication services and products, but we're also very involved in the cultural life of our community. We're enthusiastic about the future of this collection. We foresee classes, visiting artists, and new exhibits, and we welcome your participation in all of these activities. The front of the piece deals directly... To help give us some insight into the works in the GTE collection, here is artist Laddie John Dill in an interview with art consultant Charles Mitchell. The predominant material in all of these pieces is cement and polymer and plate glass. Uh, the reason I use that material is because I based a whole color system on the oxidation of cement materials. Uh, it's not as complicated as it sounds. It's, it's very similar to a, a, a similar uh, geological phenomena called leaching, or in construction they call it effervescence. That's where the limes and alkalis in the material rise to the surface as the uh, water evaporates. And I can control the whole value system or the chromatic system based on this oxidation. Uh, a good example of this would be this area in here where the lower areas of the painting uh, are the lightest, and that's where the cement oxidized because of the lower pools of water that were sprayed onto the cement as it cured. This area in here uses uh, the same process with a, with a red iron oxide uh, material under it. And then this is pure oil paint in here. Uh, something I might uh, mention is that most of these uh, pieces in the studio are made uh, for site-specific uh, situations. In other words, they're made 
expressly for an area. Uh, I feel that this is important to the work because the architecture itself becomes a framing device for the piece. A good example of a site-specific work would be the one over at uh, General Telephone or the one that you see here, which is a model of that piece. Uh, what I do is, is measure out the space that it's going to go into very carefully and draw it out on my wall in scale and then build the model. And then from there, we build a large piece. The final result of this is the, is the work that is a combination of the sculpture and the painting but also its interaction with the architecture. And I hope that these pieces actually work together with the architecture. I mean, they become an interesting point within the architecture, but they also use it as a framing device. We view the collection as a contribution to the cultural life of our community, as well as to our employees. Our new building here in Thousand Oaks provides a beautiful backdrop for art, particularly the art of budding California artists. Some of the works to be placed here cost a lot more than most of us could afford for our own homes, but at least for eight hours of each working day, we'll have a chance to view them. In our technological age, the products of the artists are among the last handmade things on Earth. And as we learn more about early civilization, we have come to believe that it is the things man has created which have lasting importance. So, the continuum of communication goes on. The past and present speak to us through our art. It's been very exciting for us to become involved with these young artists and to learn more about their works. And now we invite you to enjoy and experience firsthand the General Telephone Art Collection.